Hi, this is a, uh, the beginning of a little mini series I want to do on how to become an artist, especially for programmers. Um, my name is Nathaniel Weiss. I've been a developer of games um, for over 20 years now, a while. And for most of that time, I've primarily been just a programmer. I've always, um, I've always been like lead programmer of projects and had other people doing art and um, and really, um, my first game I've ever made all myself is this new one called Songbringer. And I'll show you that, a little snippet of that right now. Um, it's sort of like Legend of Zelda style game, um, but with randomly generated worlds. So like if I run this every time, um, it randomly generates a new world each time. So um, that's the, the core concept of this game. Now the point of, of me showing you that is that... Um, I'm, my strongest trait is still a programmer. You know, this isn't amazing art here or anything, but people like it. I don't know what it is, but that's really what triggered this whole the, th the whole idea for making this little mini series is I've been getting lots of compliments on the art for this game. People are like, "Whoa, I love your art!" And how can I make some too? I'm a, I'm also a programmer. I'd like to learn how to make art better. And can you please give me some tips? Um, and so this is really just a um, an introduction to that. So I wrote a little outline and um, the first step to becoming an artist is to believe that you can. Um, so often at being a programmer um, you think very technically you also have a tendency to be defensive of your um, your ideas and things like that so in in the kind of the nerd geek gamer world we kind of can be really harsh on each other. If, if your art sucks, people are like, if you're making programmer art, people are really harsh about it. And your fear as a programmer is that, oh my gosh, if I make some art, people are going to totally rail on me. I'm just going to be torn up because people are going to hate it. And <clears throat> the reason I just showed you Songbringer there is, is that I had the same exact feelings. And um, I thought that People, I had, I had no clue that people would even like the art, and it just shows that um, I've kind of become a little bit of an artist. And really, I've only been making art for um, about four years now, four or five years. So in my game development career of about 25 years, 20 of it have been being a programmer. Only four or five have been a, be, being an artist. And um, maybe 15 of those years I've been a musician. So... Um, you can become an artist, and that's my second point of believing that you can, is that if you have even the slightest inkling of a desire that you would like to make some art, you have the potential to be an artist. In fact, I'd say that even if you have the desire to be an artist, you are an artist already. And you need to realize that, because and just soak it in and realize that the process is going to take time to become that artist, that you have in your head, but if you even have that little desire, it's a sign that you could be. And so a sign that you could be is the first steps to becoming that. And it's the same way with when I learned to make music, it all started off with a desire like, oh my gosh, I love, like for example, I love Smashing Pumpkins when I was growing up. Man, Smashing Pumpkins was so awesome. Rage Against Machine, Tool, Nine Inch Nails, all these bands, I was like, whoa, they make rad music. And that was the first stages of becoming a musician. I was like, and one day I was like, my, I'd like to learn to play guitar and learn some guitar, learn how to tune it, learn how to sing, learn how to play drums. All these things took a lot of time, but the beginning all of all was that, was that desire to become a musician. So it's the same thing with art. If you are um, a programmer and you are, you, you know, maybe you're programming your own game right now, you have some programmer art in there, and um, that's fine. That's a great place to start. And in fact, that's my, my next point to all that is that programmer art is still art. And secondly, simplicity. That's, that's the thing is you don't have to be a virtuoso. You don't have to go and be the greatest artist ever um, from day one. And you need to let go of any fears you have in becoming this artist and just start. Let go of any fears that people are going to laugh at you or whatever and just start making it. Maybe at first don't share it with other people. Just just make your own art, get used to it and things like that. 
and recognize that the, the, the most masterful artist in the world does not need excellent tools to create amazing art. Think of, think of, um, think of the greatest artist in the world with just a piece of charcoal and a cave wall. They could make some seriously awesome art. And uh, there's an example of that 40 of 40,000 years old, the caves they just discovered in France of this, I, I, what I think is some amazing art that somebody made with just charcoal 40,000 years ago. We're talking this guy was either a Neanderthal or a, a, a brand new Homo sapien that made this art. Um, so the point there is don't even try and be a virtuoso. Stick to things that are very, very simple. Get excellent at the basics and you will become an artist. And don't try and be a virtuoso. Don't feel that you have to be a virtuoso. You can be excellent at something small and that makes you an artist. So that's it. That's it for believing you can be an artist. Um,